One wrong move here could be not fatal. I'm not going to say fatal. That's too dramatic. Because if we went down there, yeah, we're we're going to be in a bad way. However, one wrong move along this path could be even worse than fatal. Expensive. A challenge. I've come to the realization the weather is absolutely terrible but also straight up addicted to this monster energy if I don't have one my mood is down if I have one my mood is up those are signs of an addiction also this is a challenge video who am I challenging someone someone bet I couldn't do something so now I'm gonna do and do it in the most least ideal weather possible but we'll do it anyway we have arrived at our destination it's treacherous but let me tell you what the challenge is if I can get this Jeep into the right gear there's someone already here all right then this is literally turbo I can feel my eyes getting bigger hold up so here's the deal right somebody said to me Stephen I talked about climbing Galti more uh, to a certain extent in my Jeep and they said nah you won't do it without uh, you won't be able to do that and I said I bet I will. They said you won't, especially not with uh, road tires. So instantly I am um, like, I'm doing it with road tires. So as you can see, plenty of tire on the front. Not a whole lot on the back. The tires on the back are about 40%. Tires on the front are about 80, maybe even higher. They're like, they're new, the front tires. So we're gonna be tackling this hill and yes, that is as thin as it looks. Um, we're gonna have the GoPro on the roof so you can see the Jeep pushing through everything. But basically, I have been challenged by this person to, uh, yeah, well, no, they pretty much bet me. They were like, ah, oh. and I was like, bet money. They were like, you can't do it. And I was like, bet money. They were like, nah. So that tells me two things. One, they know that I will do it. <laughs> the second thing is, I need to prove to myself now that I can do it because here's the thing. You don't see Hyundai Santa Fe is out in the Middle East. You see Hiluxes for utility, Land Cruisers and Amazons for transport. Right, there's a farmer right there and he's probably gonna get cross at what I'm about to do, but I'm gonna slap this thing into four wheel drive and we're gonna begin our journey. Wait, I gotta double check the GoPro on the roof is recording. Because if that wasn't recording, it's just a video of me driving along, reacting to bumps and stuff. So this first bump I know is pretty jagged. Not an issue, not an issue for the Hilux. That, that farmer is going to get big mad. Oh Jesus, this is tight. <laughs> Am I regretting my decision instantly? <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Standard tires. <laughs> Standard tires. <laughs> Trees, no, get out. I can do it. I believe in myself and the Hilux. Wait, no, the Hilux believes in me. There's a huge dike down there to the left. I don't need to go down into that. Thank you, not today. Oh my God, I need to put my mirrors in. <laughs> Ooh, we got past, we got past what would have been the worst part, I believe. There's huge holes around here, so I gotta stay out of them. Oh, that sounded nasty. Gotta open the gate. There's no sign saying I can't do this. So I'm gonna just do it. Woo! <laughs> I don't have my mirrors out. Shit, I can't see anything. I can put them out now. BRB, LOL. Okay, 
there's actually a farmer across in the field over there shouting at me. All I heard was, hey! And I just like, acted like I absolutely did not hear that. <laughs> he is beelining up the field right now. I feel like he's gonna come along with the ATV or something, because he had an ATV yesterday. I went to do this challenge yesterday. <laughs> private property, but this ain't private property, bah! Please stick to the actual track, that's no problem. That's no problem, we'll do that. I'll stick to the actual track. <laughs> There's only one thing I have to say. Oh yeah, he's looking back, he's not impressed at all. Sheep farmers, they think they own everything. They don't. This is not, this is mountain land. He rented it. You don't need protected. I'm not gonna roll over your sheep or steal your sheep. I don't give a shit about sheep. With respect. Oh, he's so mad. Oh, he's just standing over in the field looking at me. If I drink some turbo, he just can't catch me. So we gotta give her a bit of holly going up here. Just to make sure she gets up. <laughs> Never mind going up, coming down is going to be the challenge. <sighs> this is what she was bought for, boys. Oh yeah, we'll just scratch that, don't worry about that. You're very capable as a Jeep in general. I like you, I think we should be owner and Jeep. You're good. Is he still standing back there? I can't see. I gotta pay attention. Oh! Oh my god, that was a deep hole. Oh shit, that caught the hitch. Oh, that was a big bang. Big bang theory. <laughs> Why is that making noise? Seat, please. Clip into his position. Dogs will be shot if not on a lead. Woo. Woo. This is, I'm getting more of a buzz off the farmer getting really cross. But I'm also getting a really good buzz off doing this because nobody's done this. I don't even know if mountain rescue drive up here. <coughs> My God, terrible. Listen, there's only one thing that I have to say, shut up wipers, about putting on a uh, daring me or betting me to do something is, I wanna be a cowboy, baby. I wanna be a cowboy, baby. Hell yeah. I wanna be a cowboy, Boy, baby. baby. So I will do the challenge because I'm a, because I'm an American at heart. What door is left open? Why is that light on? I don't know. I'm a cowboy rocking up and down the streets. I, I feel like this farmer is going to be super mad. What are you going up there in your effing Jeep for? Uh, hey lad, what's the story? Huh, why can't we be friends, cuz? I'm a sheep protector. Whoa, this part is rough. Oh geez, we're going to have to walk this first. And see if this is feasible. Remove the cowboy hat. All right, just walked that. And uh, I've planned that I'm gonna keep left until I get down the hill. It's actually not as bad as it looks. Then I'm gonna go right. Oh wait, will she beach there actually? I may have to walk this again, because it looks different when you're inside the Jeep to when you're outside the Jeep.
Nicht. For my own safety, I'm going to put my seatbelt on. Not a problem. Oh my god. Whew. I feel like Ace Ventura in the monster truck scene. Down, 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 down. I'm just waiting to see a quad flying up the hill here after me. I just, I, I heard, I know by the, by the anger of the, hey, he was big mad for what reason? Why are you mad? Can I just see what happens? <laughs> That's definitely not the attitude to take, by the way. At this stage, she's sliding up the hill. All the wheels are just spinning slowly and she's just skidding, like slowly weaving over and back up the hill. Here's a bit we gotta actually, no, we're okay actually. No banging, there's no banging. That's what I love. There is no engine banging off the ground, boom, 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 banging everything. This Hilux has really good clearance as stock. Excellent. Out of the factory, it can just climb Galti Moor, no problem. Farmers use quads to do this, because they won't put their jeeps through it. And the more I go up this kind of stuff, the more confident I get. Right, we gotta stop for a sec. Big huge rock on my right side here. But there's also a drain on my left side, so I gotta get as close as I can to the rock without making peace with it. We don't make peace with rocks, they're not our friends. Gotta give it a little shoe going up here. Oh, now we're on flat. Second gear. Second gear. How fast can a farmer get a quad out of a shed? Hook it to the back of his van. Although I think he'd just tear up the road. I think he would have caught me by now if he was coming up here. I know by that hay that he was not happy though. He was not a happy boy. So, when you're in the Jeep and you look at something, it looks extreme, right? I'm not sure how it's coming out on the GoPro, but it looks like a sheer rock like this and then it flattens out. When you get out on the ground and you have a look at it, it looks like this. Na 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 na, classical music playing. La 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 la. You're like, oh, the Jeep will go over that, no problem. But when you're looking at it from the Jeep, you're like, oh. Although, oh. No catching. No catch! Jesus Christ! La 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 And there's no jerking from the steering wheel either. You're you're just holding it. You know, it's not. It's jerking over Mac a little bit, but it's not fighting you. You know, if you just hold it firmly, it's like, oh, I'm not going anywhere. Toyota Hilux. One of the best Jeeps, if not the best Jeep in the world. All right, so we've reached what I would consider a milestone on this journey. We've reached the plane crash site, so a plane crashed out there years ago. I did another video on it. This is the, this will be the third video on Galti Moor. I mean, it's quite an interesting mountain. First time I just climbed it and I was like pretty new to YouTube, so it was more like kind of a, hey, look, this video. And uh, the second time it was to throw a paper airplane off the top, but that, that didn't go so well. Have a look at that as well if you're, any, if you're interested. Uh, so we're going to try and climb the last feet of it, which is, which is a lot tighter and there's a lot there's a lot of rocks involved so we're gonna see how that goes for us um, can I just mention also here's the thing right to any off-road person that's watching this video I get it so what you need to know is I don't have any recovery gear right at all apart from the mats in the Jeep that I could try and put under the tires to get traction which would not work we all know that uh, I have no winches no tow bars no nothing and I've got standard tires. That's why this is important, this video. 
because I have none of the required. I'm just driving up the mountain and it's easy and I'm not getting thrown around the place at all. I love it. All right, let's go guys. Yeah, rocks, rocks and Jeep bodywork. Contrary to popular belief, do not get on. They don't like each other very much. So we're gonna try and avoid rocks with our Jeep bodywork. I keep looking in the mirror as if that farmer's gonna just Mad Max style come up in his quad like, get out of here, this is my mountain boy. And then I just throw on my cowboy hat and I go, oh, looks like we got ourselves a duel boy. There's a lot, a lot of that, and you know, some talking, and then he calms down after I say, look, I'm just coming up here because uh, someone told me that I couldn't, so I'm just doing this to prove a point. Oh, here's a, here's a sharp boy now. I don't like this one bit. Oh, oh. Oh, oh. Never mind. This is tight. He says as he just keeps driving. Oh. See, I have the Jeep left. If you know anything about Hiluxes, they have eco mode, normal mode, and power mode, all right? Oh, here's a rock that I definitely gotta get up and move. So I've got the Jeep left in eco mode because um, the acceleration isn't as harsh. If I had this in power mode, oh, forgot to zip my fly up. If I had this in power mode, it'd be too aggressive. So back there, all the wheels would just start jerking and spinning fast. Eco mode, best mode for climbing mountain mode. Be back in a sec. Stay there. Stay there. <laughs> There's hikers. Hikers are coming. Are you? Someone bet me a huh? Someone bet me a hundred euros I couldn't do this, so and it's gonna cost two grand to fix the Jeep. Oh at very least. No hey listen, as bad as the path is back there, it's probably the worst of it. No catching at all underneath. Oh board off my head. <laughs> Jump in the back, yeah? yeah you'd have a fucking bumpy ride and rattle to bits inside in here. <laughs> no, I'm I'm going as far as the rocks above, you know, the pile of rocks. Spin around there. Yeah, it is. Standard tires as well, that was part of the deal. Because there's off-roads going on it at the end of the week. <laughs> I'll see you later. First gear, four wheel drive. Tipping, tipping away. Yeah, this is this is Rockville right here, so dangerous. So, so, so scandalous. Bam, 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 bam. Songs that we sing in dangerous situations are interesting. There's a bit. Yeah, this is one of those paths. Going up and forwards or down and backwards. There should be space at the top to turn around, I believe. It's choppy enough here now. 
Hold the steering wheel with both hands. I believe, I believe you can do this. So, just for um, just for your own for your own thing, so you know. I know the GoPro is probably showing this, but let me just take you out of your holder there. That's a big hill off down into the abyss. So if any of the wheels slip, you know, the chance is minimal, but the chance is still there. Now, oh, you're not, you're not in your holder, right? Good clearance. Good clearance is important. Not getting stuck is even more important. Sheep. I wish there was a clear day because the view that goes across there, you can see two other mountains, a couple, like, I don't know how many kilometers away, probably 20 or 30 kilometers away, 30, maybe 40 even. But you can see, um, you can see the other mountains and if you're here really early in the morning, the sun comes up behind them mountains. Oh, here we go now. Oh, the sun comes up behind those mountains and uh, it looks sick. Oh, we're here. We're at our destination. You have arrived at your destination. Now we just gotta turn around here. So I will show you these rocks and this jeep parked beside us. Hold on. Now, to go across that way, would be very foolish because I sink over there with boots on. Never mind the three ton Jeep. So technically this is as far as you can bring it without risking your Jeep's life, like an actual risk. But uh, you know, don't challenge me to do something. Because I'm silly enough to do it. I wish it was a clear day so I could take a photo of Galtys in the background and the Jeep here. Guess I'll just have to do it another time. Anyway, now we must make our way back. We're almost at the end of our journey. Journey! This is where you have to be careful because you start getting relaxed at the end of your journey. Question for everyone. If you were a sheep farmer and you've seen a Jeep going up, going up a path like this, and you had sheep up there, would you be mad? Or would you be like, huh, free Hilux in a while because he's going to get stuck up there. Down this far. Brake. Handbrake. Hop out. Here's where I got to be very careful because there's a huge dike on the left. And on the right when I was coming up, it was right beside me so I could see it. And I knew my distance and I knew if I just pushed over this side I'd be okay. But this time, I have to push right over here and hope that we don't go in. The final feet. Put in our mirrors. We won't be needing them where we're going. Put her into first. This is tight, but it's nothing to what we just faced. I just have to keep over to my side as much as I can. That does not sound nice. Okay, I don't see farm man. Don't want to speak too soon, but these trees are the last thing we must face. We're free. 
Wait, no, there is one more really harsh bump at the start. That does not sound nice. Put our mirrors back out. Deploy! I need to see behind me, maybe. Put a little bump here so that, like, cars can't get over it, I guess. But... Farm man is not here. Press the brakes. Disengage four-wheel drive. Drive forward to properly disengage it. And we get out of here. A new man, a new Jeep. You've conquered something big here, Jeep. And Steven, well done, both of you. Oh, okay, I'm actually sweating. That was, that was a crank. Besides all the bullshit I was just talking on the way down, that was nerve wracking to say the least. The Jeep slid and when you're pressing the brakes, like you can feel the wheels are locked and she's skidding on the rocks. She's just bouncing along the rocks. Very nerve wracking. I'm actually sweating forward and back and my head. Everything is sweating right now. Um, but we did it. We did it. We made it as far as a Jeep can possibly make it without being in very much stupid territory. The mountain rescue, if they use this path, I believe that's as far as they can come as well. And that says a lot because their vehicles are completely kitted out for off-road. But we did it. That just goes to show if there's a challenge and you know about it, you can do just do your do your challenge. Do the challenge. Right? What could go wrong? I did a lot of assessing and stuff before I came up here and I could have waited for more ideal weather, but hey, who doesn't like a little bit of rain? Apart from me. Um, but anyway, that's pretty much been the video. We're going to drive home now and I'm going to have a cold shower because I need it. Um, yeah, if you enjoyed this video, like, leave a like and uh, comment down below. If you were a sheep farmer, would you have gone mad? I, I'm not going to lie. I've heard of stories around the place and what farmers do when they're crazy. And um, don't get me wrong, I know a lot of farmers and I have farmers in my family. Um, I know that if they got upset properly, he could like park a big trailer in the way there so that I couldn't get down, so that he'd pretty much trap me. Um, I, I had in the back of my head that, you know, if he's mad, he could do something like this. But thank God he didn't really care. He did shout, but maybe that, may, I don't know what that shout was about because I did look around and I see no animals around at all. Uh, not even a dog, you know, because he's a sheep farmer, but I see no animals around. Anyway. I'm rambling now. Thank you for watching the video. I hope that you enjoyed it. I certainly, I really enjoyed that. Um, genuinely. I am sweating and I need to come down off this, but this was a really good experience and I really enjoyed it. And uh, I hope that you enjoyed the video too. And there will be more of this to come soon. Sooner than you probably think, even though you're probably not even thinking about it. But anyway, I'll catch you in the next video which would be whenever goodbye Jesus. Yeah, you never see those guys were driving a Nisha and Kashkoi. Hello if you're watching this video. Um you never see a Kashkoi out in out in out in Saudi Arabia or anything like that going to the oil rigs, do you? I tell you, it's only Hiluxes now. Good jobs and land cruisers. Well able, capable vehicles. There's something dinging. <laughs> I'm ignoring it. I'm ignoring the dinging.